We finally got all the parts for this thing, so now I can go ahead and take the cylinder head off again. And we're going to put a head gasket on it, and then we're going to just clean up a few little things and see if we can get it running properly. First step, we've got the generator and its brackets removed. Now I'm going to take off the exhaust stack. So I got the throttle rod out of the way, the choke is out of the way. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the carburetor and the throttle shaft tube off. Then we're going to take our, uh, <laughs> our homemade ignition system off. Then we'll take the manifold off. The manifold doesn't really have to come off to do the cylinder head, but we had it off before and the gaskets were in bad shape. So I bought new ones. We'll swap them out while, while we're in here. Might as well. That didn't take too long anyway. Um, next I'm going to take out the spark plugs. And then I'll move to the other side. There's two more bolts on the water pump to the cylinder head and we got to remove the air cleaner and then we can take out all the head bolts and get the head out of there. All that's left now is to lift this old cylinder head off and uh, we can clean everything up, put the new gasket in and put it back together. Now I'm just going to clean up the deck and clean up this to accept our new gaskets and we will do the same on the cylinder head. Here's the cylinder head all cleaned up. Interesting you can see here an old repair it's cracked from this water port to that water port um, and they started fixing it by stitching it with plugs. Um, either it finished cracking after they were finished fixing it or after getting that far, they realized that these two ports are connected inside the head, and I'm not sure what exactly they were trying to accomplish. Um, anyway, we'll just put a little bit of a sealant along here. Um, again, not that I know what that will accomplish, but um, you'd hope that the head gasket would catch it before it spread to the chambers. But anyway, we'll seal it up as best we can. Got the deck of the block all cleaned up. We're ready to go ahead and put this thing together. The new head gasket is in place. The new water pump mounting gasket is in place. Now this is kind of tricky because you have to kind of slide the head in. You can't put it on here and then slide it over to there because it'll move and the valves will get bent. And so it's, it's a little delicate, but uh, we'll get it. It went in there very nicely. So I've got all the bolts started. It's really important because you got to jiggle stuff around. You can't just put one in and tighten it and then hope to get the rest of them in. So we get them all started in. Uh, another thing I had to note, some of the head bolts are a quarter of an inch longer than others. Uh, that's because they hold something else on. So they need a little bit of, like these two that go through here. Uh, there's a longer one that goes through there. That's for the air cleaner arm. And there's these two over here for the generator bracket so we made sure we got all of those longer ones back in the proper holes now I'll run these things all down just till they touch and then I'll like in the book and see what the torque procedure is don't torque these yet that's last all the bolts are run down and just kinda hand tightened with a 3 8 ratchet they've probably got 15 foot pounds on them um, I've been called in for dinner and that's very important. So after supper we're going to come out, we'll look up in the book the, the torque sequence and the procedure if they want us to do it one step, two steps, whatever they want. And we'll do that. The manual doesn't really give you a lot of information. It gives a tightening order but it doesn't really give you a torque. They're half inch bolts so I'm going to wind them up to 80 or 85 they feel okay I might go as far as 90 I'll probably do it in two steps I'm gonna do the first step at 50 and then the second step at at least 80 I did the first step at 50 I'm gonna do the second step at 85 90 yeah it's a little sketchy with these old 1950s bolts they might take it they might not Perfect, that went well. They're all torqued up to 85 now. 
and nothing felt spongy or anything like that. Now I'm going to do the four water pump bolts, torque them, and that'll be it for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and put the manifold back on now. Um, I've cleaned everything up. I got new gaskets, at least for the intake ports. So on this, these are the intakes, the center ones of the three. And they use a fiber gasket, whereas the exhaust use this um, copper, dead soft copper. So um, that's more than reusable. So we'll reuse the copper ones, and I got new ones for the intakes. There, yeah, we've got our manifold installed and all torqued down. Now I'm going to go ahead. Um, I've got the engine turned to top dead center on number one, so she's ready to fire. So we can set up our timing. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to put the four spark plugs back in and put the exhaust stack back on. Before I put the exhaust stack on, it's probably easier to uh, deal with the carburetor and the linkage and all that stuff on the top of the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now instead. Um, the carburetor was mostly working. It seemed okay, but I'm just going to re-gasket it and blow it out. Here's our carburetor parts. They're all cleaned up. Ready to go. The float may be a little bit high. I'm going to have a look at that. Got our new gaskets. Got all our hardware. So we'll start putting this together. See the float? Yeah, it's a touch high. I may lower that some. Let's have a go at that. That's a little bit better. Basically, you want your float level when it's... That's just kind of a good rule of thumb to go by. And that looks pretty good. So the first thing we'll do is bolt the carburetor base back on the engine, get the throttle shaft and everything all installed, and then we'll put the top half of the carburetor on. Carburetor's all back together and back on. Governor linkage all assembled, hooked up. Now I'm going to put the air cleaner back on the other side because I have to re-clock it around to get the, the intake hose fit on properly. I also have to install the the fuel shut off valve and, and make a fuel line for it. All right, I spent a few minutes and got the, the choke linkage or the choke cable and the return spring working. I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to be, but I'm working with what I got here. So um, that's what we came up with to make it work. All right, uh, we're going to need to service up the sediment bulb. It's been cut off and pinched off, so... Um, hopefully that, um, isn't a harbinger of something terrible, <laughs> but anyway, let's see what we got here. Well, that's pretty ugly, isn't it? But no fear, we'll clean it up. Got the base all cleaned up. Now here's our new filter screen and our new gasket. The filter screen seems a little different than the old one, but, um, nevertheless, we'll see if it's going to work. And I'll report back. That went pretty well. We got our sediment bulb all serviced up and installed. We made up a new fuel line for it. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the air cleaner in position and get our, our suction hose. There's the air cleaner all back on. We had to cobble up a little bracket there to, to hold it, but it's on there good and solid now. Uh, I've got it clocked around properly so that I could install the air inlet hose from the air cleaner to the carburetor. It's just on here loose for now. Once it's up and running and I know everything's good, I'll put a couple of gear clamps on it to seal it up. Um, awesome. So now we're going to move on to installing the ignition system. I would really, really love to get it running back on the magneto again. But um, for now, just to start it up, we're going to go with the old uh, distributor. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount the dynamo back on. Moving right along, we've got the dynamo mounted up. Got the belt on and tightened. Now I'm starting to lay in the wiring for it. We've got the control box or voltage regular mount, regulator mounted up. Um, so we're going to get the wiring buttoned up. And then we'll uh, 
I guess we'll have to polarize it. I'll have to look in the book how to do that. So I've got all the wiring buttoned up, got the ignition all back together. I think I've got it timed correctly. We'll find out. I got the battery hooked back up. Nothing has gone on fire. Now, theoretically, if I flick the ignition switch on, hopefully the charge light should come on. Hey, look at that. That's a good sign. And even a better sign if it starts, we'll hope it goes out. What's left now is to put the exhaust stack back on it. Then we're going to put some fuel in it and make sure nothing leaks over there. Got the exhaust stack installed. Now I'm going to uh, pour a can of gas in it and we'll see what happens. Wow, it's getting really stormy outside. You should hear the wind. All right, this is a pretty big gas tank. I, I, I put about three gallons of gas in it. We'll see if that was enough to even get to the sediment bulb. Let's open it up and see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. Gas flowing. So far so good. Don't see any leaks. Let's go check the other side. Looks good, doesn't it? All right, well, I'm going to put the phone down now. It's time to grow a pair and see if I can crank this thing up. So I did manage to get it to cough and sputter to life, but it doesn't run very well, and it won't stay running. Um, so the, the battery was getting kind of low, so I put the battery on charge. Um, I opened up the distributor and checked the points and checked everything in there. It all looks good. I made sure it's a distributor that turns the, the right way. So um, uh, that was a possibility that if we had one that was, you know, to turn the other way, because this is a cobbled up thing, it, it could be retarding instead of advancing. But no, it, it advances. That We're good there. So anyway, I think I'll have another go at it tomorrow. Well, anytime you have this much antifreeze coming out your exhaust, that's probably going to be bad. 